The Freeport School District shares how it's making it safe for all students, no matter what gender, to attend school. They've created a plan that has the students sit down with staff members and their families to discuss what would make them feel most comfortable in school. Alexis Carpello shows us how that plan will help with correcting names and identifying pronouns. We are maintaining a safe school for all students. Freeport School Board members learned more about the district's gender identity plan for students Tuesday evening. Counselors and our social workers will, will begin the implementation process, and they're also considered the coordinators of this plan. And so then um, based on the conversation with the student and the parents, they will invite who they would like on the team. All of them would then develop a plan with that team. Dr. Shalonda Randall, Assistant Superintendent of Equity and Curriculum for the Freeport School District, says the main objective is for all students to feel safe. So we want to make sure that we have people in the building who the student trusts that will maintain that safety. And that's why those individuals are on the committee. The student may say, I don't want anybody in the building to know that I'm transgender or that I'm non-binary. But at the end of the day, they're concerned about their safety. It's really hard to sit in class and learn when you have people bullying you and making fun of you. The Liam Foundation is a local LGBTQ resource center. Its vice president, Scotty Welch, says having plans like this make it easier for students to properly learn. I think the most important thing is to remember as while you're, while you're child or student is going through that, that love and support is what they need most of all as they're trying to figure out, you know, what is going on. A school, we must protect them and we have a plan that says we are aware, we've been made aware, and this is what we are doing to protect those students now that we've become aware. That was Alexis Carpello reporting. The plan comes after an executive order Governor J.B. Pritzker implemented back in 2019. Dr. Randall wanted all staff to be made aware of it so they can help students succeed in the district.